changes this season. Whole new ball game. Uh, not really, Coach. We've still got the same number of players. Court's different, but the ball game is pretty much still the same. We won more games. We won two games. Two. I guess you could say we fought our way up from the bottom of the barrel to the lower tenth of the barrel. Well, we have a new player. Guess that means I won't be called rookie anymore, though. <laughs> um, actually, rookie, McDougal isn't a new player. He's a veteran we traded for Jacques. Technically, you still have less experience. Wait, what? Coach, is that true? Don't ask me. I try not to get too involved with the players. Not really any of my business. But you're the coach. Exactly. I like to concentrate on motivation. Oh, yeah, you know, because I feel really motivated right now. Hey, Mick... Uh, what's his name again? Mac Dougal. Hey, McChicken! How long have you been in the league? Me? Oh, about two years. It's had its ups and downs, but overall... No, Tank, I'm talking to the other guy. Be quiet. Oh, sorry. Hey, he wants you to be quiet. What? No! I want to know how long he's been in the league. Well, I don't know how long he's been in the league. Why don't you ask him? Oh, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Please, be quiet. Oh, why well, didn't you say so? Hey, he wants you to be quiet again. Chatterbox. No, you. Yes, you. With the funny helmet. How long have you been in the league? Who, me? Ah, uh, I've been playing going on near 17 months now. But you're not really wanting the specifics, like, you're just wanting to know whether I got more time in the game than you do. <laughs> Which I do. But, cheers for asking anyways, Ricky. What the hell did he just say? I understood him less than I understood Jacques! Indeed. At least Jacques is on a French team now, where people speak his native language. Jacques was French? Of course. What do you mean, of course? How was I supposed to know that? His name was Jacques. He spoke with a ridiculous French accent. His last name was LaFrench. He wore a beret in the shower. Hiya, fellas. How you liking the new training facility? Hey, Commissioner. What do you want? What do I always want? To help the teams and players of the league achieve their maximum potential in the sport of griffball. Hmm, not buying that, I see. Wow, tough crowd. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here to tell you that your team has been disqualified from play for this season. Thanks! What? What? Wait, disqualified? Does that mean our pay has been suspended? Of course! What? Wait, what? You're disqualified. The whole team. Disqualified. What? We can't be disqualified. We don't even know what that word means. It means we're not playing this season. Exactly. If we haven't even played, how could we have done the... the word you said? Tank, please, I will draw you a picture later. Alright. Then I will... look... at that picture. He's right! How can we be disqualified? There haven't been any games played! Well, it turns out that one of your players used a banned substance. What? Who? The specifics aren't really important. The specifics are what got us banned from the season. It's like McFinnigan or MacRib or something. You mean McDougal? Yes, that's him, Mac and Cheese. Use a controlled substance in the league as a zero tolerance policy. We just traded for him. Yeah, bad move on your part. You approved the trade. How do you think I knew where to find him? How exactly can we be disqualified if he hasn't even played for us yet? Once again, I'm going to have to refer you to the zero tolerance policy, or not o tolerante for our Spanish listeners. Also, you have to forfeit your last game from last season. That's when he tested positive. He didn't play for us last season. No, he played for the league champions. Did you see the championship game? Mac Daddy was great in it. So, shouldn't they forfeit the game? No, they're the champions. And he's on your team. I feel like we've covered this already. Zero tolerance. I think we lost our last game. Didn't we? Probably. Well, just pick any win at random and make it a loss. If the league has a zero tolerance policy... I have to uphold the image of the sport. Right. Can't have any embarrassments. Heavens no! Then, why are you still commissioner? Pardon me? You. You're still commissioner. You orchestrated that whole elite team fiasco. You bankrupted the league! Yes, that helicopter was a bit of a catch-22. I probably shouldn't have named it the SS Irony. You killed a player. 
You made us learn new words. It's true that was a problem, but the League needed strong leadership to guide us through all those troubled waters. Troubled waters? You were the one that was responsible for that. Yes, but a good leader knows how to delegate responsibility. That's not what that phrase means. You delegate responsibilities, not the responsibility. Fellas, we're not here to discuss my many failings. We're here to discuss your single failure and our zero tolerance policy. Have I mentioned that yet? We have some colorful brochures you can review. Uh. Macintosh! Yeah? Front and center. All right, coach, what can I do you for? Is that a problem? We know about your little problem. Wanna talk to you about it. Got us disqualified, you jerk. And you made everybody learn what that word means. Mostly everybody. Oh, no. Bugger me, I knew this was gonna happen. Hey, we're not here to beat up on him. He has a problem. And Team Slipspace sticks together. We're gonna help you through this, McDougal. Oh, I? Really? You mean it, Lake? I don't understand what you just said. But we're gonna get you some counseling. Someone to help you with your problem with... What did you test positive for? Grenades! Your problem with grenades. Wait, what? He's been using grenades on the court. I uh, am um, so ashamed. And you should be. Admitting I'm right is the first step to recovery. Grenades? Oh, I give up. Giving up is the second step. Becoming an egotistical maniac is the third. The fourth step, of course, is a landing. You can stop there to rest. If you agree to give up half your paycheck, you can take the escalator. Stu Stuman here with a scandalous new tape for last year's Griff Bowl between the Harvest Kings and the new Mombasa Bossa Nova Bosses. Through high definition, ultra mega slow motion, you can clearly almost see that a player is throwing a handheld metallic device to cause an explosion. Our forensic experts here at UNS in Sports think this could possibly be a grenade. Or a very angry pineapple. I think I can see it. I see it too. It's right there next to his foot. No, that's his other foot. So it's under that. That's the ground. Yeah, I definitely see it. What are you talking about? It's right there. It's plain as day. I saw it at regular speed. Clearly, this could have major implications for this player's team. And that team is Slipspace. Now oh, come on, he wasn't even playing for us when he did that! The TV man can't hear you. Oh, if I yell loud enough, he can. You gotta be kidding. You may remember Team Slipspace from... Well, from nothing, actually. They kind of stink. Hiya, boys. Season started today. You missed your first game. Now that's gonna be a forfeit. I thought you said we were disqualified from all our games. Disqualified from winning? You still have to play, of course. That just makes sense. We have to play in games we can't win? Yes. Otherwise, you get a forfeit. You would give us a disqualification and a forfeit? Of course. The marketing department is working on a new word to describe that. So far, we like disqualified. Sounds a little racy, though. Gotta think of the kids. We want to be able to make t-shirts and plushies. Do you think the kids would like to squeeze a disqualified plushie? I know I would. I'm not learning any more new words. This is the worst possible thing. <sighs> Everyone's a critic. How do you feel about four fail? How about dis for qualified fine? I like it because it's easy to remember. I mean this situation. Maybe you should have thought about that before you took on a player with a substance abuse problem. Grenades aren't a substance. They're a weapon! And we have a zero tolerance policy. What is that? Pardon me, getting a call, BRB. Go for the commish! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, oh, uh huh, 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 oh, no, uh huh, ah, no, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, oh, oh. Right, okay. Alright, we may have a problem. Looks like someone on the new Mombasa Bossa Nova Bosses used a grenade in their opening match. Aye, that was part of our training camp. So they forfeit and get disqualified too. Right? Well, they are the league champs, and that would be bad for business. What happened to zero tolerance? Zero tolerance doesn't mean we just expect someone to quit cold turkey. That's exactly what that means. Well, how do you guys feel about another trade? Forget it. Well, I guess it's time to revisit that policy. Maybe a one-tolerance attitude would work better. Doesn't sound quite as catchy, though. So, do we get to play? Yes, you can play. Yeah! And we're only one game behind after one game. Just like every other season. Well, come on, guys. Let's start practicing. Back, Dougal! Don't judge me. 
You don't know the hell of an addiction. Thank you for watching this episode of Red vs. Blue. If you want to check out more, go to Rooster Teeth. It's an app, it's a website, it's a lot of stuff.